hi everybody welcome back to another episode of camping corner it's mallory here along with tony all right look at that he's learning sign language you guys. bet you guys having a good time trying to learn some new stuff trying to uh, uh fill my brain with some new knowledge so <laughs> learning sign language having a great time that's so. good self-improvement's always great i you, love it yeah that's what my wife tells me <laughs> you bet you so for our first segment we're going to talk about around the web So we found this lovely picture that I know we posted earlier this week on Facebook, but the camper on a bicycle. Yeah, kind of a rickshaw <laughs> looking thing. You know, I'm trying to figure out who's who's the poor sap that actually has to pedal it to the location. <laughs> right. And then the rest of the family's all sitting in the back going, when are we going to be there? I got to pee. What time? You know. <laughs> Gas saver, good exercise. <laughs> That's right. it. It's a green world, guys. <laughs> and then, of course, we you know found another great picture of the little kitty cat in the uh, in its own little tent. Um, you know, super super cool. You know, everybody. We get so wrapped up in you know. Last week we talked about pets traveling and camping with us and so on like that. And we all think you know I'm a dog guy. You know, you you've got dogs. Yep. But you know, we forget that everybody's got you know. Are there's a lot of people that are taking their you know their feline friends along with them too. So. So yeah, a couple pictures there. Um, thank you, Jane, for your pictures of the cats that you take camping. Yep. Um, but yeah, people take their cats. I have cats. We don't take them camping. But they may even take other pets too. So if you've got other pets like rabbits, hamsters, gerbils, I don't know, whatever you might take, parrots, I don't know. Feigning goats. <laughs> If somebody's got fainting goats that they take camping, there's nothing I find funnier than fainting. You know what I'm talking about? I do. The ones that, you know, you make a noise and they fall over. It's the crazy. It's the craziest thing. (laughs) So I happened to notice I took a drive up through the campground this week and... I got a big question that that's really been you know working on my mind, and everybody has these fancy little signs that they put. You know, mm-hmm. it's you know Barb and Betty's camper, you know, um, you know our campsite, you know all that great stuff. So, what is the process? Do you do that? Do you put that sign up before you put your slides out? You know, is that the first thing you do when you get to a campground? Is it the last thing you do? Is that the signification of we're technically ready to camp? I mean, they're super cool. I love those signs. I do too. There's some really good ones, like um, no whining here. I'm a big wino, so I love seeing those types of signs. But yeah, what is what does your sign look like? Do you put it out as you're setting up the campsite? I agree with Tony. We'd love to see them because there's so many cool yep. ones. Yeah, it's, you know, just, it's such a cool thing, and, and everybody gets really creative with them, mm-hmm. um, you know, and that's just, you know, cool stuff. So, you know, guys, if you've got some of those pictures, send, make sure you send those pictures in to see us. Yeah. So another picture that I think we also posted on Facebook this week was the picture of the <laughs> fire log at the fire pit where they painted the sad face on right, him. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, and made him watch, you know. <laughs> Kind of like waterboarding at the campground, but you know the poor, you know poor log. Uh, you know, really creative stuff, guys. You know, that's one of the fun things about being in this industry is there's a ton of really funny things that people do, and um, you know there may have been you know a couple adult cocktails you know that that happened before <laughs> that happened, but you know super cool. So hey, our next segment, guys, we are gonna talk about what's the buzz. There's some good buzz this week. Yes. So again, Spring Fever event is going on now until February 8th. So come take advantage of those savings, and we'd love to see it in in here anyway. Absolutely. We just got done with Groundhog Day. Yes. Punxsutawney Phil. Yes. And everybody, I'm sure everybody saw the picture of the groundhog with the curlers in her hair and the donut. Um, you know, super cool. Yes. I mean, I know I'm ready for spring to come early and get that camper out. I'm, I'm so ready to go camping. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. So another thing is we've been featuring a lot of full-time RVers on the website um, for a little while now. Um, so we wanted to share with you one of those stories in particular. So we have Kara. Is that how I say it? Kara. Okay. Kara. I want to make sure I got your name right. Logan and Holly. 
So in 2017, they made the decision to sell their house and become full-time RVers, which is amazing. Um, jealous of that. So since hitting the road, they've covered 55,000 miles, visited 45 national parks, um, and have made it to the Arctic Ocean. Pretty cool. That's crazy. I know. I have trouble getting down the street. <laughs> So 45 national parks, that's a lot of them. I don't remember how many national parks there are in total. I don't know. Me neither. It's probably worth a Google. Put that in the comment comment <laughs> section, guys. Let us know how many uh, national parks there are. Let us know how many national parks you've been to. Ooh, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. I, I think, think I've been yes. like five, maybe, five or six. Yeah, I feel like I've only been to a handful. I think we went to some when I was little, but I don't remember. <laughs> so, you know, talking about full-time RVing, uh, we're getting inundated with a ton of the uh, uh, renovation campers. Of mm -hmm. course, uh, Austin, the RV renovator, and our in-house project. Yep. Uh, we've got some some sneak peek uh, pictures coming for that. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, you guys keep sending in these really cool pictures, and we we love seeing them, guys. Yeah. So this week, um, it is from her Instagram handle, or it's Team RV Living. So this is a 2002 Zephyr Tiffin motorhome, and it is gorgeous, you guys. Love it. Yeah, it's super pretty. They've done an amazing job fixing everything up, putting everything, you know, make it their right way. Mm -hmm. And again, that lighter, brighter, fresher feel to it, like we've been talking about what people are wanting and where they're going to. And I have to say, even the light fixtures you guys put in this thing is awesome. I love the sofa. Yes, that like geometrical shape. It messes with my OCD, but it's super cool. <laughs> super cool. And they sent us before and after picker, pictures, which is really cool. So yeah. So now we're going to talk about. It's time for Gadget Corner or yeah. Tech Monkey. Yeah. Absolutely. So we have some cool stuff this week. So uh, I know we've talked about these before. It's the rear observation camera. However, I didn't realize that there's the side observation camera for your tow behinds, your fifth wheels, your travel trailers. Like I know our motorhomes have them, but I just thought it was really neat that we also have them for your fifth wheels and your travel trailers. So super cool. They are super cool, super safe, great idea. Make sure that uh, you're not running over somebody in the lane next to you in a smart car or a Prius or on a <laughs> scooter uh, or even somebody driving a big F-350 crew cab long bed truck that just doesn't know how to drive. <laughs> there you go. Sometimes it's harder to trust other people, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And they can be retrofitted to any particular camper. It doesn't yes. have to be something late model. Yes. That's something that can be installed on any camper as far as I know. I don't think there's anything that you can't add it to. So No. So I, I just thought that was cool. I know we had talk, talked about the backup camera, but I just thought it'd be a cool intro for the side view camera Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. And it'd be, a, an, again, an, a great you know marriage saver. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. I'm going to put them on this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Super cool. <laughs> All right. So the next segment, industry news. So we've got some cool stuff this week. We posted a video about the wash bot. So we will play that for you guys here again. It's awesome. Take a look. Hey, everybody. It's Josh Walnut Ridge. I'd like to introduce you to our newest detailer in our detail department, the wash bot. Pretty excited to have this. We're just still kind of getting it all set up. Got to go through some training, learn how to use it. Um, but, but we've got this new machine here to detail our trailers. Uh, we like everything to look great here, and I think this is going to be a good addition for us. Um, and, and hopefully, we can uh, uh, get quite a few more people to come in and let us uh, wash the trailer for them. It's uh, one of the hardest things that people don't like to do when you got a big fifth or something that takes a lot of work. So. Um, Stop by sometime this summer and, and you'll be able to see it whenever you come into the dealership and, and uh, I think it's going to be a great thing for us. We've still got some learning to do so we'll finish that up uh, and then have maybe a demonstration of us uh, running it on the trailer.
the cool thing about this is it's like a car wash for cars, mm -hmm. but it does it for RVs. It saves time, it is able to get them you know, super clean, yes. everything like that. So you know how tall those things are. They're not easy to clean a uh, lot of times. <laughs> yeah, everybody hates washing their camper. <laughs> this thing's super cool. Check out, check it out. So yeah, so we're seeing more and more people wanting smaller and lighter campers. So we have definitely gone in to help you guys with that. Us personally, we have the Coachman Clipper 12.0. So we'll put some pictures up of that. It's got some really cool options. I'll let you talk about them a little bit, Tony. The coolest thing is the screen room on the back. Everybody knows the, the one thing that we haven't talked about mm -hmm. as we're all getting ready for camping season there are a whole bunch of mosquitoes that are getting ready for camping season two. Yes. They are ready to go <laughs> and raring to go. So you have this screen room that comes off the back that if you are in a place where you've got a lot of mosquitoes or maybe just bugs. Yeah. You know, some people just don't like the bugs, period. Mm -hmm. So you have the capability that you could sit in there in your lawn chair, stay out of the, the weather, uh, stay away from the bugs, all that great stuff. It's super cool, super lightweight, about 2,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. Uh, it has everything except for a big potty. It's got a porta potty, yes. which is super cool. Talking yes. about going back to nature. Hey, yep. here's your porta potty. <laughs> hey, at least you don't have to dig a hole, right? That's better than digging a <laughs> hole. Absolutely. We've got a bunch of pictures to, to go along with that thing, guys. Take a look at that. Yes. Kayak racks on the on the roof. Super super cool. Yep. Our next segment. We finally got one. Ask an expert. We finally got that question we've been asking you guys to send us one of those. So here's the answer this week for Ask an Expert. Yeah, from your field team right here. You betcha you did a great job too. Hey guys, it's Mallory here with Camping Corner. So this week we're actually going to do the segment Ask an Expert. So we have Matt Gowdy here. Hello. So we can ask him. So Matt, the question is, how do you file an insurance claim on your RV? So what you're going to do first, uh, you will want to contact your insurance company. Uh, they'll get a claim started and then they will usually contact us and you can go ahead and call us to set up an appointment to bring that in because we're going to need to get photos, measurements, stuff like that to see what parts we may need uh, to get that ball rolling so then we can go forward with that. All right. Easy enough, guys. If any other questions you have, feel free to send those in and we'll be happy to ask someone for you. I think we've come to a, the end of another episode. It's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Tons of fun. I think we're enjoying these episodes more and more each time we film them. Um, I had an idea for something that I would really love people to give us their opinion or their thoughts on. So everybody has their favorite camping activities. Like when they go camping, what makes it a camping trip? Like it's not a camping trip unless you do what? So for us as a family, if we don't make s'mores, it's not a camping trip. Like that is every single time rain or shine i'm making s'mores yeah i i got you we start out with we start out making s'mores and then i think it just modifies itself to just marshmallows <laughs> yeah. and then you quit cooking the marshmallows all together and you're just Eating stuffing them, them in your mm -hmm. mouth out of, out of your bag yep it's so, always great so so yeah i know everybody has or most people some people i guess may have something that it is not a camping trip unless we do something go yeah. hiking whatever it might be i want to hear your guys' ideas my kids are getting older I would love to branch out and maybe do some other things when we go camping. Yeah, that would be absolutely cool. Send us those ideas, guys. Yeah. Hey, till next time, I'm Tony. I'm Mallory. We'll see you later.